Hi everyone, this is Firefly404, Andrew here, and I'm going to do Bossman 103's uh, traditional anniversary question in honor of his third year, third year anniversary on YouTube. So question number one, what, which piece of fiction represents your worldview the best? This is going to be a popular one. Need I say more? Question number two. If you could bring someone back to life, who would it be and why? Now, I'm assuming this could be anybody, because um, it doesn't say someone who represents my worldview or someone who just I care about. Um, if it's someone t who represents my worldview, Christopher Hitchens is the obvious one. I hope I don't have to elaborate on why. I think he was a great debater. He could be a little abrasive at times, but then again, I think someone like, say, William Lane Craig is also extremely abrasive, just in a different way. Um, if you're talking about just someone personal, uh, I'd probably have to go with my aunt, who passed away well before her time. And that's just, I, I just think it was a shame she went too early. I didn't really get to know her all that well, and I would have liked to have, for her to have known her grandchildren. Um, number three, if you had to marry someone of the opposite worldview of yours, who would it be and why? Now I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's not someone who's going to be completely opposite my worldview. Uh, and presumably this would have to be someone people actually know. So, you know, let's pick from someone in the YouTube community, and the, there's a very, very obvious answer to that, and that's Abby. She's, you know, aside from being a Christian, I mean, we tend to think quite a bit alike on everything, so... Ah, number four, what is the worst representation of your worldview in a film or book? Now, what's his actual, what's his current YouTube? Da, da, da. Fatal Error 404 TV, formerly Ashes the Raven, released a video where he was critiquing something by, oh, I can't remember his current name, but I think it's, I think it was a video that Stigma Dean put out. Um, something called Salt. No, not the movie with Angelina Jolie, but it, it featured a scene with a, supposedly a physics teacher teaching a physics class, and yet for some reason he brings up physics or science versus theology, and I'm like, no! No! Now that's not a movie that's supposed to you know, represent, put out by someone representing an, a proper atheistic point of view. It's someone who put out, put out with an agenda and completely straw mans the atheistic point of view, and that's quite frankly the absolute worst example of a straw man I've ever seen. Um, what do you think is the best example of the other worldview doing something good? Uh, obviously, any time anyone gives to a charity or runs a food drive or anything like that, I'm all for that. Just don't it as long as they don't include like any okay, you need to be a member of our church. As long as you just say, We have food, if you need it, here you go. Perfectly fine with that. Absolutely no problem. Uh, in fact, uh Christmas time I was in an annual turkey spiel at my curling club and I won a fairly large turkey and I donated it to a local church food drive. No problems with that. Anyway, that those are my answers. Talk to you later, everybody.